one. Hi everyone, Nancy and I are here today with Julie and she's with Damsels in Defense. She's gonna to talk to us about the mission, which is to equip, empower, and educate, <laughs> and educate uh, people on protecting themselves. So hi, Julie. Hi. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this business. Describe it for us. So um, it's just what you said. It's all about equipping, empowering, and educating women on safety. Um, the mission originally started out being women, but now we've expanded into children and nice men. Uh, <laughs> so we will empower them as well. Uh, and it's just about being um, preventative and proactive about protecting yourself. That's, that's, well, that's what we need in today's world. Yeah, so let me just tell you some statistics. Uh, so one in four uh, college-age women are victims of a violent sexual assault. One in five women are survivors of rape. One in three women are victims of domestic violence. And then the, the statistic that gets me every time is that 70% of children are victimized um, by child sexual assault before the age of 17. That's terrible. That's why damsel exists. Okay, good, good. So what made you decide to participate in this business? So um, I, before damsel, uh, was a court reporter for uh, 18 years in Santa Clara County. And so I've heard the worst oh. of the worst. Yes. Um, prior to becoming a court reporter, uh, when I was 14, I, um, I met the monster that uh, would soon become my, my son's father. Uh, I was 14, he was 24, and um, I thought that was cool. I didn't know it was called statutory rape back then. Um, but uh, yeah, so it took, you know, the first time that um, we were actually alone together uh, was um, a, an actual sexual assault. And then I cried during the sexual assault, so he decided to beat me up. And oh so I, um, I, have been, I have been the victim. I know what it's like to have that fear of the fight or flight, and uh, and I need to. I made this my personal mission to empower as many women and men uh, yeah. as I can because I know what it, I know what it feels like. Well, thank you for sharing that story. So now, did you have to go through any special training for this? Uh, no, that oh. is the, you just have to have a heart for serving, for, um, for wanting to protect women. Um, I have furthered my education. I have become self-defense certified wow. so that I can, um, teach women who I, that's the first question I get all the time is, well, do you do self-defense classes? And <laughs> for two years I said, no, no, I don't, but I can, you know, refer you to, to this person or that person. Uh -huh. And then I thought, well, why can't I do self-defense classes? So um, I've, I've done that, um, and uh, I, I get to empower women with the tools uh -huh. that, that can level the playing field, and also with um, defense moves that they can, they can use. Awesome. That's awesome, but we're not going to demonstrate any of those today, <laughs> are we, Julie? Yes, we are! Let's go! No. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you live in El Dorado Hills. Let's try that again. You live in El Dorado Hills. <laughs> Um, what is your, what do you feel about the community? Um, I love, love living here and everyone's very, it's a, it's a family oriented yes. community. I love that. Um, we came from the Bay area, which was, uh, our street was very, you know, family oriented, but this whole community is, you know, we have concert in the park. We have all the sporting events. Uh, my daughter is now a cheerleader at the high school oh, and so we've got the Friday night lights, I think oh, is what it's fun, called, right. and it's so fun. Um, and it's the community comes out for that. Um, what I feel about the community when it comes to safety, head in the sand. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, because we live in this nice area. There's a lot of gated communities. People don't think anything's gonna happen to them, and yeah. that's just not the case. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. All right, well, here's something fun. Tell us something that your clients and friends might not know about you. Oh. Um, well, a lot of people don't know that I am a grandmother. <gasps> oh, that's a good one. Yes. Because I look so young, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, so I, uh, I mean, my close friends,
friends know about me, but my clients probably don't know that I'm a grandma and my, my baby is almost seven. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Yes, yes. Um, so it's not from the daughter who cheers at Oak Ridge. <laughs> oh, good point. Thank yes. you. <laughs> it's from my son who's yeah. 27 and lives in the Bay Area. So okay, great. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to ask you one more question. Um, give us a, a, a detail about the different products and then we'll go into more detail offline. But so tell us a little bit about the most popular products that are um, out there today for us to use. Okay, so um, the most, the question I get asked the most is what do you carry? And so I put what I carry out here. This is called my basics. Um, so, and the, I always ask everyone at my Empire Hours, why don't you carry some form of self-defense? And the answer is always, I'm afraid my attacker is going to use it on me. So Damsel has this stun gun that is patented with our disable pin technology. So you are going to wear this around your wrist and you, uh, it has a 300 lumen flashlight. So it's a blinding defensive flashlight. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you turn this on till the red light goes on. And I don't want to upset your dog, so I'm not gonna not gonna do it. But you can see that the red light's on. If your attacker grabs this from you, you have the disable pin right here, so your stun gun won't work. Won't work. So that is, um, I love this. That this answers the question why so many women don't want to um, protect themselves because they're afraid that the their defense item will be used against them. Um, so I love the stun gun. Uh, the pepper spray it has a UV dye in it, dyes your attacker for six to eight days, so they glow. Six to eight days? Yes, 90% of attacks are perpetrated by somebody that you know, so you will be able, they're easily identifiable. Um, oh my gosh. The, the part that I love the most about our products with Damsel is that we have an incident replacement policy, and um, so if you use it and you have a police report, you send your police report to me, I'll be your personal customer service representative, and, um, and then Damsel replaces it for free. Wow. So we just want great. everyone to be protected. And I just love that. That goes right along with the mission on equipping, empowering, and educating people that, um, that we feel if you use it, mm -hmm. you may have to use it again. So we want you to, we don't want cost to be an, an, an issue. issue. We want issue, to go yeah. ahead and replace it. And um, that being said, we have a lifetime warranty on all of our products as well. So we fully stand behind everything that we, um, that we sell. That's great. Great. Well, thank you so yes. much. Um, if you are interested in learning more about the products, any safety issues, um, and get to know Julie and her company, please visit us at parkbench.com forward slash Eldorado Hills. Thank you.